cool, so what I figured I'd do is make a quick video uh, for, for the people that in the band on the Monday, the Monday morning band for the live performance. Uh, just thought I'd suggest some ideas so we're not, I, kind of, I guess when we come to like the rehearsal time we're not like kind of wondering what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. Like if I make some videos and keep this kind of going, it might help. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So what I think is that <coughs> the song that we did in the creative project, uh, Sweet Dreams one, I think we should do that, just work on that better. We don't have to use it in our set if we don't want to, uh, but at least we'll have that like, it's a fairly simple song, it's a good song, uh, but the vocalists, well I actually think the vocalists that sang it with me in the creative project actually are the same vocalists, Chloe in Tennessee I think. I need to find out exactly who's in the, the group, but I think it's, it's Chloe in Tennessee, so they already kind of know that song as well, they know the vocals, I know the intro, the drum part's really easy, uh, the bass line's really easy, and uh, Anton you've got that sort of solo you could learn, like the uh, the Marilyn Manson solo, but I mean you could do your own solo stuff, it doesn't matter, we could come up with that kind of stuff as well, but what I kind of like about this one is the way it sort of built, the way we built up in the creative project, so it was like So, I guess if everybody takes that and kind of comes up with an idea for what they could do for that, then I feel like we'd make more progress in the live performance than what we're doing now. Where we've got like these songs that I don't think any of us are all that enthusiastic about learning them or playing them. And like all the small things, I mean, it's, I'm just basically playing three chords, which is like... I don't even that's the right three chords. She left me roses by the stairs. Surprises, let me know she cares. <laughs> it's actually better than more fun than what I thought. You could do that, but all I'm doing is going. Work sucks. Off, carry me on, on and on and on and on. Fuck that. <laughs> we can maybe we can maybe do that, but like I say, there's no there's no good I can do with that. Uh, and, and Bloom, I kind of like the idea of Bloom. I've got the, the, I'll lend the power chords to them. I'm going to do them right now. 
uh, for Mr. Brightside. I actually do know some of Mr. Brightside, but again, I was like thinking of what you could do as a band, because I play it kind of fingers though. Jealousy, tarnished saints sent to the sea, turning through sick lullaby, joking on your alibi. But it's just the price I pay, destiny is calling me, open up my eager So there's, so there's that, but I still think we should use that Sweet dreams are made of these Just because it's got that like, driving beat Boom, boom, boom Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas The other one we'll take a look at, which I do like the idea of, is Wake Me Up When September Ends. Again, I don't know how we do it as a whole band, but that's kind of part of this live performance thing, is we figure that out. You know, we figure, I guess we've got 18 weeks, it says on the sheets, like 18 weeks, uh, but we've used two of those weeks, so Monday, this Monday coming is our 15th, uh, we've got 15 weeks after this, which is still a long fucking time, man, it's like three and a half months. Three and a half months to get a ten minute set, I feel like we should do songs that we want to do. And like, I guess as well with the creative project stuff, if the stuff you've learned in the creative project, so why not bring that to a live performance? Because then it's like extra rehearsal time, but it's with different people. Different songs. I, I get, I'm, I'm saying I guess that's part of what this is about. That's exactly what this is about. Uh, but yeah, so that was my two cents for this week, for the live performances, coming out what we learned with the creative stuff, how I felt that went, and how we could maybe use that now in live performance. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'd give you give you guys that. Too. I guess Martin, I'm pretty sure Martin was the name of the drummer, just like, yeah, you just need to do, 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 okay, and then one, do, 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 and then see Anton, you come up with a solo, or get the, the Marlon Manson kind of solo in, we'll, we'll figure out where that part goes in. The vocalists already know this, so that's why it's kind of like I thought that it'd be a good one, because the vocalists know it, I can know it, we're working the rest of it. We've got one strong song at least, and then we just need to work it. The other two. Anyway, I will start rambling because this video is getting kind of long, but I just wanted to figure I throw this to you guys and it gives you something extra to think of it.